Welcome back to another Monday update. So glad to have you guys back. Probably missed us, didn't you? I know that uh, we missed doing Monday Update. It's been a really wild ride this summer and a whole lot of fun. Oh man, it's been so much fun. I forget how much fun it's been. Are you forgetting how much fun it's been? Totally forgetting how much times I do this. This is a I hard bit. This. <laughs> this is hard to do. Okay, can't I gotta even, take this off. You can't nod the Okay. Head. Hey guys, welcome back to another Monday Update. We're so glad to be able to come back at you again. We've taken a break. We yeah. took like several weeks off to rest and recuperate after chucking all that stuff in the lake. I, my arms were tired and my, my thighs were still burning from that, that uh, paddle boat. We just wanted to give another little update on what's been going on since then, kind of get a glimpse into what family camp has been like. We even did day camps. We did, that seems like That's forever ago. a long time ago. So maybe you've been wondering what exactly did camp look like this summer? Was it was it completely like everybody wrapped in bubble wrap? We, we did all sorts of stuff, but if you want to take a look at some of the highlights, check out this little slideshow of some of the, our favorite moments from family camp so far. That looked fun. That looked pretty fun. Like there was some, there were obviously some things that were different, mm -hmm. but some things that were still the same. Like people had a great time. Yeah. They ate breakfast in the woods. They enjoyed some session. Hey, talk to me a little bit about session. What was session like this summer? Let's jump to the rec field to talk a little bit about the rec, about the rec field. <laughs> Let's jump to the rec field to talk a little bit about sessions. Ready? And poof. Whoa. That's awesome. Whoa, we gotta do that more often. One of the things that we uh, figured out how to do this summer in quarantine was actual teleportation. Yeah, email me if you want some details. I can send you some schematics. It's pretty easy. You just need like a hydro spanner. Flux capacitor. Flux capacitor, yeah, it's hard to find these days. One of the things that we were nervous about going into this summer was how do we fit all of our campers into a small space for sessions, which is kind of important. And so we had this idea of just doing sessions on the rec field. And so we, we have been, we set up this tent. We do one session every day in the morning time. We've got the entire family together for a morning session. All of the little kids listening to worship and our speaker. We've shortened the sessions down to about 45 minutes, which means a half hour talk and just two songs. That was rough for some campers saying, ah, oh, we miss puppets, we miss uh, being able to sing a lot together. In lieu of that is we've had Bible discovery time with John and Diane Wendell every single evening where instead of just meeting a puppet and talking with them for five minutes, they've had 45 minutes with the puppets learning together. That's been such a cool time. For a couple evenings every week we've had concerts. Concert with Matt Hoffman right here in this tent. Thursday nights uh, we've had just a, an extended time of worship together out here in the greatest great room that we have at Forest Springs. It's been beautiful. So whether you're sitting here or way out there or actually back by air rifles, we've all been able to worship together and listen to the messages and the sound of bird chirping and the wind through the trees takes over. It's it's symphonic and it's it's been so much fun. It has been a really great summer. God has been so good to us 
here at Forest Springs. Even for our summer staff, it's been a beautiful, tight community of friends. In fact, here's a, here's a great little video, a reflection piece that our media team put together at the end of the summer. Just reflecting on our summer staffers' experience through summer 2020. I suppose all of you who came into camp staff will never forget 2 Corinthians 9 8. The ability of God to work through you no matter who you are. It's good to have another Monday update. I've, I've missed doing this mm -hmm. and all of the uh, ninja teleporting and whatnot. Hijinks. There is one more thing that, that we need to do to, to have a proper Monday update. Yes, and you know what that is, right? It's Will It Float. Today, we have something really unusual. This is controversial. We're gonna throw in the lake a bowling ball. We've heard tale told that bowling balls actually can float. They sink, but then they come back up slowly. After like 15 to 30 seconds. Will it sink or will it float? What do you got? I'm holding this bowling ball, and you know what it feels like to me? What does it feel like? A bowling ball. Do we know the poundage on this ball? Four B.O. We have no idea how much this bowling ball no, weighs. I want to believe the legend. I want to believe. Like, this is my Sasquatch. So I'm gonna lock in floats eventually. I can't believe that it would do anything but sink. This is a round, heavy, I gotta go sink. It's a bowling ball. All right, bowling ball in the lake in three, two, one. It's not coming up. We gotta wait, we gotta wait. I did say eventually. Yeah, how long is eventually? How long has it been in there? I wanted to believe. We can do this in fast forward. We won't make you wait. Okay, we waited, I think, what's an appropriate amount of time, and so far, no bowling ball. I think that that is a sink. So if you guessed sink, you were right. That bowling ball went down, just like Dan's hopes and dreams that it would float. We hope that this edition of Will It Float made your Monday just a little bit better. Come back and see us again, and, and maybe we'll still be waiting for this bowling ball to come back up. Who knows? See ya.